Do you know what it means to live in the power of the resurrection? Listen, as believers in Jesus Christ, we have the Holy Spirit who lives on the inside of us, and he is the one who helps us overcome difficulties. He is the one who helps us overcome sin, overcome temptation, overcome negative thoughts. We have to understand the power of the resurrection completely in order for it to be impactful in our lives. So that's what I want to talk to you guys about today. I want to talk to you about the power of the resurrection that lives on the inside of each one of us. As Christians, we believe in the resurrection of Jesus Christ. And with that belief comes power. I just want to stop for a second and uh, just say, hi, my name is Michelle. If you're new here, I just want to thank you for stopping by this channel. What you will find here is biblical encouragement that helps you to grow your own personal relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. And if you come here all the time, I just want to thank you for allowing me to speak biblical truth into your life. All right, let's get into it. We believe that Jesus Christ overcame death and rose again in glory. We believe that as true followers of Jesus Christ. But what we must also realize is that the power of the resurrection is not just something that happened to Jesus 2,000 years ago, okay? And it doesn't mean anything to us now. That is not true. It is the power that is available to each and every one of us today. That is the power that us Christians have living on the inside of us, the power to raise people from the dead. I know scripture says that the same power that raised Jesus Christ from the dead dwells in us. That's the truth. I didn't make it up. I didn't say it. That's what the word of God says. So it is that power that is available to each and every one of us today. You know, some people think that the Bible isn't relevant for us today, or, you know, they believe some of it, but not all of it, or they just believe what they want to believe and throw the rest out. But we know as true believers in Jesus Christ that the Word of God is the absolute truth, all of it, all of it. And it is relevant and powerful for us today. All right. The Apostle Paul writes in Philippians 3.10, I want to know Christ. Yes, to know the power of his resurrection. Paul knew the power of Jesus Christ's resurrection. Not only because he lived with him personally. I mean, how jealous are you of him that he got to live with him like in the flesh, like personally when he walked here on the earth. I know that I would have loved that experience, but we have the entire canon of scripture plus the Holy Spirit. So actually we have more than what they had in the first century church. But Paul understood that the power of the resurrection was not just a one-time event. He knew that, but it was a living reality that could transform lives if we allow it to. It is the power, the reality of that power that transforms our lives. Amen. But listen, how do we unlock the power of the resurrection within us? How do we do it? How do we live this Christian life out in power, in victory? Well, I'm going to share a few things with you, and I hope that you are able to implement these in your life and that you are able to walk in the power of the resurrection. So here we go. First thing, we must believe that the same power that raised Jesus Christ from the dead is at work within us, all right? We must trust that our God is able to bring new life out of death and despair, okay? We have to know that no matter what we're going through, no matter what we're facing, even if it looks like death and destruction and despair, our God can make something new out of it. Now listen, I want you to understand that sometimes 
people just get into these hopeless situations because they look around and see their current situation and their current circumstances and they think this is never going to change. Well, that's a good way to stay stuck in your current situation. We have to understand that as believers in Jesus Christ, we have resurrection power living on the inside of us. We have a God who creates new life out of death in despair. Amen. Secondly, we must surrender ourselves to God. We must die to ourselves, our sin nature, and allow God to bring us new life. It's not easy. I'm not going to sit here and say that dying to your old self is easy. It's something that has to be done every single day. Sometimes it's a moment-to-moment -moment decision that we make. When we choose God over ourselves, we are crucifying the flesh. We are killing our old self at that moment. All right? So every single time we choose God over ourselves, we are strengthening ourselves. We're strengthening our Christian life to walk in victory. Listen, church, this stuff does not happen overnight. If you want an overnight transformation, then you better go to one of those makeover shows because that's not how it works in the Christian life. Like this is a process and it takes time. It takes knowledge and understanding and revelation and study and prayer and fellowship and community. It takes a whole lot for our minds for our carnal worldly minds to be renewed so that we can actually begin to live this stuff out not just know it up here okay we don't just want head knowledge head knowledge yeah it might look good for a little while but eventually you're gonna get tired of just trying to do it all in your own strength just mustering up the will to make this happen and you're gonna quit and that is not what God wants at all Amen. Romans 6, 4 tells us, We were therefore buried with him through baptism into death in order that just as Christ was raised from the dead through the glory of the Father, we too may live a new life. We too may live a new life. Glory to God because of our belief in him, because of our belief in in the Holy Spirit, our belief in the resurrection and Jesus Christ, all of those things combined begin to work on us, creating a new life, okay? It's the belief, it's the truth that renews our mind and changes the way we think, the way we act, the way we talk, you know, the, the choices that we make, the decisions that we make, the people that we hang around with, the things that we choose to do or not do. All of those things are a result of renewing our mind in the truth. That's what sanctification is all about. When we first become believers, we are called baby Christians. We are infants in the faith. And it takes a while for the new, the truth, to saturate our very being in allow it or like turn it into Christ's likeness, okay? Because that's the goal of us Christians is to transform into Christ's likeness as we go throughout this journey of life, this faith journey as we call it. It's about displaying Christ's likeness in our own lives, in our own lives. Christ allows us to be a part of his story to be a part of his plan so that we can in turn live in eternity with him and the Father. We get the opportunity to show Christ to the world through our Christ likeness when we are transformed from the inside out. Amen. Finally, we must walk in the power of the Holy Spirit. It is the Spirit of God that empowers us to live out the resurrection in our daily lives. Listen, that is so important. And I hope that you do not just, you know, just allow that thought, that statement to just pass through your mind without really pondering it and taking a hold of it. Because 
it is where us Christians get our power, our victory power. It is from the Holy Spirit who lives on the inside of us. Listen, Galatians 5.16 says, Walk by the Spirit and you will not gratify the desires of the flesh. Listen, the flesh is strong. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. It's not easy to crucify the flesh. And it certainly isn't easy once you've been walking this Christian life for a while. And maybe you get complacent. Maybe you get bored. Maybe you just um, don't feel like it anymore. And you allow the flesh, you entertain the flesh a little bit. And you allow yourself to do this. You allow yourself to go there. You allow yourself to to say this. You allow yourself to talk about this. You allow yourself to ingest this. And before you know it, the flesh is right back in full force and you feel like that you are being strangled again by this world. It's because we let our guard down. It's because we allowed our flesh to be in charge. We, We were walking by the flesh and not by the spirit. So I want to encourage you today to memorize Galatians 5.16, it says, walk by the Spirit and you will not gratify the desires of the flesh. I'm going to memorize that myself. When we unlock the power of resurrection within us, our lives are transformed. We are no longer bound by sin and death, but are set free to live in the abundance of God's grace and love. When we accept the resurrection, Jesus Christ, in our lives, it transforms us from the inside out. And death no longer has a hold on us. I mean, if we're not fearing death, come on, church. What are we going to fear then? We're not going to fear people. We're not going to fear disease. We're not going to fear accidents. When we don't fear death, when we know that we are going to rise again, no matter what, then death is defeated. Amen. That's what living in the power of the resurrection is like. Because we're empowered to live out of that knowledge, being hopeful and bringing hope and healing to a lost and broken world. When we can encourage others to seek the power of Jesus' resurrection in their own lives, they, my friends, will be strengthened and they will be transformed. We have to trust in God's ability to bring new life out of death and despair. We have got to trust that he can do it. And if we do, we will surrender ourselves to God and walk in the power of the Holy Spirit. And I just pray that the power of the resurrection within you would just shine brightly for all to see, bringing glory to God in hope to those around you. Amen. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I just thank you so much for this word. I thank you so much for the the Holy Spirit who lives on the inside of us to strengthen us, to cause us to be transformed and to walk in victory and power and strength. Lord, help us to not just know about the resurrection, Lord, but to live out of that knowledge, to allow it to get deep down on the inside of us so we are living it out. Lord, we just thank you and praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I hope you enjoyed that message today. If you did, please like and subscribe to this channel. And um, I will be back next week. So I will see you next Wednesday with another message. All right, take care. God bless.